In today's video, we'll see how to trigger a Metasound from Blueprint. So we can start by having a look at my Metasound, which produces a very simple beeping sound. Here I have a sign generator, a AD envelope. As you can see from here, I'm multiplying my audio signal produced by the sine wave generator to the float number produced by the AD envelope. Once we have our final audio shaped with the envelope, we can multiply it once again to a sort of main output, but we'll see it later on. When we start our Metasound from Blueprint, we trigger by default the on play input trigger. We can move now in the Blueprint. Here I have prepared a, a little Blueprint where I have a on actor being overlapped with two trigger boxes. If we overlap the first one, we trigger the spawn sound attached and you simply need to reference your meta sound inside the sound input of your spawn sound attached or you can use play sound 2D or at location, whatever you want. Of course, make sure to attach your component as well, your player component. And now from the return value of your spawn sound attached, you need to create an execute trigger parameter. This is useful to stop our meta sound. If we overlap the second trigger box, in a few moments we'll see where it is in the scene, we'll execute this uh, trigger parameter we need to set its in name and I decided to use stop. And once you have your blueprint set up, you need to move inside your meta sound and generate a second um, input trigger. You can do so by moving over members, input, add. Once you have your input selected, you can move down in the detail panel and change its name and make sure that its type is trigger. And now you can simply drag and drop it inside your editor. Once you have your newly created uh, input trigger, you can use it to stop your audio system. In my case, I decided to use, as I showed previously, uh, a second multiplication node where I can set the value one if I'm receiving the trigger from the on play. And on the other hand, by setting its second input with the stop trigger, I can set a value of zero. This is the viewport. And as you can see, I have the first trigger box at the very end of this ramp and the second one at the top. So we can now play the game and have a listen. <laughs> 